Hello. Can you turn on the microphone first? And Is there anybody they could help? Uh, Hong Lao Shen, you microphone may kai. Tatao Maybe you can move to the next speaker first and come back to Professor uh, Hung later. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Hang told me, uh, please um, move forward the next speaker. He will fix his equipment. Sorry for that. Oh, Hang. Hang is back. Yeah. Hello, uh, everyone. Can you hear me and uh, see my presentation? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Oh, now, now it works. Okay, thank you. Sorry for my mistake. Now, uh, can I start the presentation? Okay. Hello. Please yeah. go ahead. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. I, my name is Jian Hang from Sun University. So. Uh, my research uh, is about uh, urban wind and the urban and the urban thermal environment. So uh, let, let me start the research background. Um, in the last 10 years, I uh, mainly uh, studied the urban uh, climate from uh, building scale like 1 meter to 10 meter on, until the city scale, a uh, 10 kilometer. So now more and more people are moving into cities. So uh, and uh, uh, buildings in cities uh, is become uh, taller and taller, and the city itself become bigger and bigger. So it produces some uh, urban environmental problems like uh, urban air pollution, and the urban wind speed uh, is decreasing. Uh, urban ventilation is becoming worse, and uh, the urban warming it means urban air temperature is increasing more quickly than the global warming. So uh, in the city uh, urban climate zone model. Uh, it's uh, so the urban parameters like uh, the building densities and uh, urban tree uh, planting or urban bo uh, water bodies or uh, and uh, they uh, are key factors on the urban climate. So my research is about how uh, how to quantify how this uh, parameter like the metallurgy condition, uh, building morphology like uh, the street aspect ratio or building impact densities and the uh, urban. Uh, tree parameters or some chemical reaction, how they influence the urban uh, turbulence, urban ventilation, uh, air pollutant, and also uh, urban thermal environment. So uh, let me start uh, from ventilation. Uh, before uh, the urban ventilation, uh, I want to introduce the uh, indoor ventilation. So by now there uh, have been more than 200 uh, million people are infected uh, by the uh, SARS uh, CoV 2. So uh, now we all know ventilation is important. Uh, actually, uh, in the last uh, uh, one year, I have did uh, some experiment and the CFD simulation about the infection uh, risk and the ventilation in the res residential building or in the bus coach or restaurant or some conference room. So in these places, there will be uh, in the in infected uh, incident. So uh, uh, all, from, from all this indoor environment, the poor indoor ventilation is the main reason of the long route airborne transmission and the infection risk. So uh, ventilation uh, is important for the indoor ventilation. We know we can use uh, air conditioner to control the air quality uh, and the air temperature. Uh, for example, here uh, we have a two ventilation design with the same ventilation rate. The upper one have the better ventilation efficiency because uh, there will be much lower concentration, particle concentration and droplet concentration in the room. So uh, in this way, we can see ventilation can, indoor ventilation can be designed and uh, it, it can be used to control the indoor environment. So uh, how about urban ventilation? Urban ventilation means uh, the 
uh, supply external and clean air into the city or street to help the pollutant dilution. Uh, it, they have a similar process, but the difference is uh, for the street or city, uh, their top uh, is open. So through the open top or uh, open roof, so there will be more, much more complicated uh, turbulence and the pollutant flux and also energy exchange of, of through the, this roof. So the urban climate uh, process is more uh, complicated than the indoor. Uh, so in my PhD study uh, period in the University of Hong Kong, I introduced some uh, indoor ventilation uh, concept into for the uh, for evaluating the outdoor urban ventilation. So for example, if we uh, build a blue building in the ventilation corridor, maybe the ventilation efficiency will become uh, much worse. So it's uh, and uh, also uh, I did some ventilation measurement and uh, safety simulation to quantify how the uh, street aspect ratio and the uh, building bank density or elevator building design and uh, uh, or building height variation, how they, this uh, parameters influence the urban ventilation. There's another issue on the pollutant exposure. So usually we focus on the pollutant concentration near ground. So because uh, the concentration is higher near the vehicles, but uh, actually uh, more than 90% of the time uh, people stay indoor. So the most pollutant exposure from vehicles is happened when the pollutant, outdoor pollutant, get into the indoor, uh, for especially for the buildings neighbor to the main road. So uh, we uh, not only uh, consider the concentration near ground, but also we should consider the concentration uh, at a different height of the buildings. So uh, in my research, I consider the three groups: the children and out and order. So and their are time, uh, time function for indoor and outdoor. And uh, the, in this way, uh, we uh, can send the concentration uh, in, both at the pedestrian level and uh, in the uh, at each floor of the buildings. So in this way, we can finally can evaluate how the urban layout and the atmospheric condition or chemical reactions, how they influence the urban pollute uh, dispersion and the exposure for the entire Entire street or entire city. So, uh, and for uh, urban ventilation and uh, pollutant dispersion, there are uh, dynamic force and uh, thermal force. So, if wind speed is large, uh, it's a wind driven dynamic process. So, in this way, thermal effect uh, can be neglected. But uh, if wind speed is uh, relatively small, we have to consider the thermal effect. Uh, the physical process will be much more complicated. So now let's move to the uh, my some so much uh, experiment uh, by coupling even urban wind and thermal environment. So in this experiment, I went to evaluate the urban uh, uh, urban cli thermal cl climate uh, modeling. So uh, for real cities, we can see a real city is very complicated, and uh, uh, the building geometry cannot be controlled uh, easily, and uh, we. Uh, sometimes it's difficult to know the building geometry information and the building material, building surface, uh, colors, they all influence urban climate. And uh, also, uh, it's uh, difficult to measure the uh, wind and the temperature far from ground and uh, the building surfaces. Usually we can only measure uh, the, the data near ground uh, and uh, near the building roof. For other place device, uh, it's difficult to be fixed uh, like here. So uh, urban uh, high quality measurement and the safety simulation on the urban thermal environment in real cities are not easy. Uh, some uh, in the literature, uh, Japan or USA, people use uh, this ship container or concrete model uh, to study the low density or medium density urban uh, models. In my research, I built uh, so much, uh, so much uh, field test uh, near, near the Guangzhou city, it's a subtropic rigid climate zone. Uh, we focus on the high density uh, urban model. And uh, uh, as that, actually, as that uh, from the two dimensional, uh, two dimensional street canyon model, uh, we can see the building height is 1.2 meter tall, uh, and uh, the street width is different. So, and uh, we also study some three dimensional. 
uh, urban model, like uh, with uh, different building tank densities and uh, different uh, the street orientations. Uh, we have a lot of data, but I can only show some example. Uh, time is tight, so uh, we can measure the temperature, air temperature, uh, by many sensors, and also the temperature at the wall surfaces and uh, the uh, velocity turbulence uh, information uh, at a different height. So here is some example. For example, it's a uh, delay cycle of the wall temperature facing north. So in the in the morning, the temperature uh, is rise, and uh, after noon, continue to temperature continue to increase. Uh, at three o'clock in the afternoon, it, it's a peak uh, peak temperature. Then it uh, cool down until the night. It's a uh, one example. And uh, uh, interesting that if for the different aspect ratio, here aspect ratio of three, it means the narrow street, narrow the street, uh, like here, uh, th this one. So Y is a street like uh, this one. So uh, we can say that the narrow street, uh, the maybe it's the ventilation, ventilation is not good, but uh, the solar shading is, is much better, so the temperature is lower uh, than the wider street uh, in the daytime. And we can also measure the uh, radiation, uh, four component uh, radiation, uh, like upward, uh, downward, short wave, and long wave radiation uh, by the sensor, CRN4 sensor. And here is an example for wider street, wider street, the Abido. Abido means the ratio of the upward short wave radiation divided by the downward short wave radiation. So uh, greater abido for the wider street, it means uh, more solar radiation is reflect to the sky. Uh, here is uh, some example uh, about the uh, floor visualization by smoke technique. Mm, and uh, also we can measure the pollutant dispersion with the line source or point pollutant source. Now uh, uh, is my thinking and uh, future work. Uh, in recent years, I'm doing some uh, uh, experiment and the safety simulation on the how the uh, tree planting influence the ventilation and the uh, urban thermal environment. Uh, we can see that the ventilation, the tree planting usually uh, reduce the urban wind speed, but uh, it's good. It's not good for ventilation, but uh, it's good for the solar shading and uh, especially can improve, cool down the uh, space uh, near the pedestrian level. And uh, we, of course, in the experiment, we consider the uh, effect of tree species and also the tree density. Uh, another case, uh, I'm interested in uh, couple the tree planting and the high reflex, uh, the cooling material, the cool cooling roof, for example, use the a reflective material at the building roof, uh, couple them together and uh, to cool down city and uh, reduce the energy consumption for some cooling. Uh, and uh, also in recent years, I'm doing some uh, field measurement uh, in the Guangzhou, uh, real city in the subtropical region, climate region. We focus on the uh, thermal, thermal environment and, uh, and air pollution in, in a different urban area with a different urban layout. Uh, anyway, here is a conclusion. So um, in my uh, research, uh, we think uh, the urban climate, uh, wind, summer environment quality, they can be designed and controlled by some technique. And uh, of course, uh, maybe it's better to couple the indoor outdoor and also from street scale to the uh, metal scale like here. So by different to tools. And also uh, it's better to uh, do the cooperation research by the architects, uh, meteorological researchers, and urban planners. Uh, here is my research group, and uh, here is my school campus uh, near the seashore. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Ham. I think you give us a very um, rich information and analysis about uh, uh, vegetation and the thermal environment. Uh, I may have some question for you, but 